Hey Fred, do you have any advice for marriage? I will be asking Stephanie to be my wife soon. Well Scott, marriage is more than just a ceremony. Many people spend a whole lot of time and money on the wedding ceremony and not a lot of time working on their marriage. So what will make a successful marriage? I can tell you what the Bible says about marriage and the outline for the Christian family. That would be great. I really want to honor God in my marriage. Okay. The first thing to realize is that marriage is a covenant between the people getting married and God. The Bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. It also says that it is not good for man to be alone. As for a physical relationship and marriage, the bed will be undefiled. The Bible says it this way. Hebrews 13 colon for marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. What about the order in the family? Does the Bible tell us anything about that? It sure does, Scott. You will be the head of the household as taught by the scriptures. This doesn't mean that you are better than your wife. It simply means you have authority over her to protect and care for her. God created Adam first and then Eve. God is a God of order. Here is the biblical outline for the Christian family. Ephesians 5:22 Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot, or wrinkle, or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And, ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Wow, so marriage is a perfect picture of the relationship of Christ and the church. Yes, that's how God designed it to be. Thank you Fred, I will honor God by honoring my wife, and lead my family in righteousness. That is good to hear Scott. Now let's catch some fish.